Howdy, 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 my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for August, of course, Gemini, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this reading helps you out, all right? That's how we keep up with you, Gemini. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate those who take the extra step to support me. So we're going to be getting into three rows for you today, Gemini. Your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind today. Could be romantic, Gemini. Could be platonic. Could be family. Could be business. Not my business, though. Not my business. Could be your, it's your business, but not my business. Your second row, Gemini, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. All right. Could be sp uh, spiritual guidance. It could just be a, a message that just affirms your path and where you're going. And then speaking of paths, Gemini, your third row, we're going to be getting into your predictions for today. Now, the future is never solid, darling, but it, uh, if you continue going through the momentum that your current energy is taking you, then I can make some pretty solid predictions about what's going to be happening in your life, Gemini. All right. So we have this Nine of Cups energy in the back of the deck for you. I'm starting this out, all right? This is going to be influencing Gemini A, all three rows. I was going to say every single three rows. I was like, hold up. So for you, Gemini, this Nine of Cups is really fabulous. By definition, this talks about a wish being granted, all right? Your, di your desires are heard and your desires are going to be answered. Your wishes are going to be answered here, all right? May not instantly, ha I say may, but I don't see it happening this week, but I see the progression, I see the progression of it. Some of you, uh, Gemini's, especially in regards to career, you're going to be noticing doors opening up because I'm being shown doors opening here. And then now I'm being shown a person. Someone's going to be uh, opening the doorway for you, Gemini, to walk through the door, giving you the opportunity here for many of you gemini's it's not a matter of like you're wanting to progress and there's like a specific message gemini being like it's not that you're lacking talent or lacking capability gemini it's a matter of who you know all right it's a matter of who you know so if you've been having this sense of a frustration gemini about progression of your career or what have you start networking because i feel like spirit is kind of dropping like an easter egg here for a specific Gemini that needs to hear it, all right? Because definitely someone can get them through the door. Maybe pride's an issue that you don't want to ask for help. Maybe you don't want to kiss ass. Understandably, nothing wrong with that, all right? But Nine of Cups energy. This is really fabulous. This is really fabulous, your darling, all right? So let's get into this reading here. Let's start, start talking about the person that's on your mind right now. And so, Gemini, you have the Seven and Queen of, or not Queen, the Seven and Page of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles here for you. Okay, Gemini, I feel like when it comes to this person that you're dealing with here, I'm going to be very brutally honest, darling. All right. So if you're not ready for brutal honesty, I am not the tarot reader for you, honey. All right. I feel like this person that you're wanting to connect with what what is it that you're wanting here all right i'll get into that in a moment but i'll tell you the attributes that i get with this person here all right i don't i feel like this is someone that's very free spirited or at least they consider themselves a free spirit here but for some of them they're just calling themselves a free spirit as an excuse for not doing anything with their lives <laughs> and they're just traveling I get the sense of using the word free spirit so they don't have to ever put a name to a relationship. I get the sense of like free spirit and so they don't ever have to be held accountable, Gemini, for any type of consistency or anything like that here. Seven of Wands, especially with this person on your mind, I feel like... I don't want to say that, but I think I have to. I don't want to say it for multiple reasons, but... I will. I I feel like this is going to be for a specific Gemini. Not, don't make it about you, darling, if it's not, because it's a very specific message here. But I feel like some of you Geminis need to be told the person that you're thinking about that you're wanting more attention from, the attention that you're wanting from them that they're saying that they can't give to you or the commitment they're saying that they can't give to you, they're able to give that to other people. And I see that with that Summit of Wands there. I'm going to be just very honest here, all right? doesn't mean they're cheating, all right? So don't immediately assume, especially if you're thinking about a romantic partner. I don't see, like, doesn't mean cheating. It does not mean cheating, all right? I just feel as if what it is that they're providing to you, Gemini, is not their fullest capability. I see this as a person that's, like, 
very much so just looking for the next opportunity essentially here i see this person stringing people along but never actually progressing so in like a friendship type of way here uh gemini you could be you could be confronting a friend and be like hey like i really don't like how you speak to me i don't like how you don't ever try to text me or talk to me here and then they're like, oh, figure it out, figure it out. I'll, I'll change, I'll change. And then they don't. They go, they continue on with the same habits. Romantically here, I mean, it's the same thing. I feel like for them, they're not really looking to settle down. I don't get settled down energy. I don't feel like they're going to settle down for quite a long time here with that Knight of Pentacles, Gemini. All right. I feel like this person is just like, mm. so let's, let's get into this a little bit deeper. Let's clarif clarify this here. three of wands all right so for those that have been that needed to hear that the very specific message i didn't want to i didn't feel really too comfortable saying uh three of wands you already before you even came to this reading you already would have had suspicions gemini this is not me instilling anything in you you already like you came into this reading maybe not with the intent of getting insight on that situation but you came into this reading with this thought in the back of your head already where you kind of already know that this person's not able to provide for you that in the way that they do for others by choice because it's i truly believe it's by choice it definitely is by choice queen of presence queen of pentacles here this is definitely by choice all right this is definitely by choice here all right this is definitely by choice this is someone that is really again the star energy as well with this here let me show you all three of these here all right the star energy with this here gemini this is quite literally someone who is just thinking trying to always just find the next thing that fulfills them you might have felt as if this person used you as an emotional outlet maybe they always trauma dumped on you maybe i feel like this sense of just like you felt used in some way all right could be financial could be like whatever the case is you feel used in some way or tokenized and I feel like you approach them about it, about your feelings. And I don't know if they gas at you about it or like they just convince you with some, something else. But I don't feel like they're entirely truthful, whether that was their intent or not. Because I don't know if they're fully aware about how... Mm, I don't know the proper word for it, so we'll just say shitty. <laughs> how shitty their behavior is in regards to this, Gemini. I don't feel like it's intentional here. Or it doesn't seem that way. All right? But this is definitely, you're not going to get commitment out of this person, for sure. I don't see commitments whatsoever with that. It is one of those times you have to ask yourself, Gemini, is this person really worth the wait, All right? So that's what I see on that, Gemini. All right, take it how it resonates, if at all. Let's get into now uh, what you need to hear today, all right? So you have the Nine and King of Wands here with the Eight of Pentacles, Gemini. Pretty fabulous energy here. What you need to hear today here is keeping your head above water, Gemini. By keeping your head above water, you have the death card coming in here in the back of the deck here for that shuffle that I just did earlier. Um, keep your head above water right now, Gemini, because you're about to be having a plot twist to your story is what I'm hearing. You're going to be having a plot twist to your story that changes things up that elevates you right when you see this eight of pentacles energy here gemini this is a card of promotions and going up in the ranks right more responsibility put onto you get ready for it and nine of wands if you are frustrated maybe for some of you guys you might feel like you're in a rut or what have you gemini if you are in a quiet period not all of you are but if you feel like you're nothing's going on and you're in a quiet period appreciate it look in the comments you know go ask your fellow gemini all right and be like oh you know because it's like i feel like a lot of gemini's have a lot going on like i heard tropical storm and maybe it's just because i live in florida again so I, that's like the first thing that comes to mind but it's like this sense of where i get this impression where it's um been dealing with a lot all over and it feels like it's just building up to turn into a hurricane for you i see a lot of chaos that you're having to manage there gemini all right but what really makes me confident and optimistic about what's going to be happening for you is this eight of pentacles because it's going to be elevating you here so, <clears throat> so let's expound on this here gemini let's see how much deeper 
we can go with this. All right. Ace of Pentacles. It's going to pay off here. I don't know what this is that we're talking about for you, Gemini, but it's like this specific message of where spirit wants you to know that it's going to pay off. So keep your head above water. Don't give up on this project. Don't give up on this goal. I don't feel like these two are connected, by the way, Gemini. So don't even, don't even, honey. Don't, don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. I feel like this is more so talking about some type of objective, objective here. All right. I really do feel that. Let's get another card here. You have the moon card popping out here, Gemini. It's not going to make sense until it does, essentially. It's not going to make sense until it does, but you are, in fact, on the right path here. All right, four of wands coming in here with, what was this other one? Four of wands with the moon. Yeah, the moon. <laughs> this is the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. Gemini, I've actually never watched the movie, but um, I think it's a pretty cute deck. A lovely subscriber gifted this to me for my wish list. Ten of potions, ten of cups here, back of the deck. All right. So Gemini, you are going to have that fulfillment. Didn't you even get the nine of cups at the beginning from the back of the deck energy? I'm pretty sure you did. Unless I'm just crazy and I thought it up. But I feel like you got the ten of wands in the beginning. The four of wands only shows up on your path when you are on your right path here, Gemini. All right. And the ten of cups represents that fulfillment. You're not lacking without anything. And especially if you got that nine of cups as the back of the deck at the beginning, like I'm pretty sure you did, uh, Gemini. It's going to be looking really fabulous for you. It's not going to make sense until it does, because this is all going on beneath the surface that you're not aware about. So this lets me know this is going to be one of those <clears throat> opportunities that happen through the celebration of your work, the celebration of the attention that you garner, Gemini. It's something that you do. It's like something that inspires someone else or inspires the situation to promote you. Let's get into some oracle cards here. We're going to do one bridge shuffle. Let's see what's happening for you. What's popping, Gemini? 24 equaling to 6. Galactic Mushroom. The Divine Matrix here. I feel like this is the embodiment of what I was just saying here, Gemini, where I feel like y'all are going through a tropical storm right now. All right, the divine matrix right now. This is letting me know that you are actively, I'm being shown Tron. If you want, like I've never watched the old school Tron. I only watched the updated one. But if you've watched Tron, I feel like that's what's going on for you right now. Or like the Hunger Games, because now I'm being shown like the Hunger, I'm thinking about the Hunger Games. So it's like that sense of a simulated reality testing you, all right? But in this sense, it's your, the universe testing you in some way, which is interesting. Let's continue on here, Gemini. You have here the full moon. <laughs> this is your full moon, dar darling. Embracing the flow of life here. Embracing the flow of life. Because quite literally, I love it. This is why I use Oracle cards. Because the Oracle cards really just shows the alignment of the tarot message, the intuitive messages from me, and then the Oracle messages. All right. These all come together here. All right. You are in the... Uh, divine matrix right now because right now you're learning how to embrace yourself deeper you're learning how to have faith in the flow of the universe and where it's going to be taking you rather than resisting the current you're just going along with it which is the best thing that you could be doing for your spiritual journey at this time all right so i feel like for you uh gemini you have a lot of really solid things happening all right. A lot of really solid things happening, but you have to make it such a priority for you to keep your head above water. That's all I keep on hearing is that is just keep your head above water. You're going to thank yourself a billion times by the end of this month that you kept on fighting when everyone was telling you to give up. Let's get into your predictions for today now, Gemini. All right. I always wanted to call you Pisces. I haven't even done Pisces reading yet. So, and I don't, I do Pisces last. So 
no reason for me to feel like to say Pisces. And just believe, Gemini, I'm the first one to be very transparent. And when I mess up and I just say another zodiac sign, I don't always try to make something spiritual, honey. Sometimes I just mess it up. Kind of like how your mama sometimes will mess yours and your siblings name up. I have 12 zodiac signs that I talk to each week, honey. All right. More than that, because I just talk to y'all on TikTok and Instagram as well. But it's like, <laughs> I do feel like that sense of Gemini when I was like picking this up. So you could be pay, pay attention to any Pisces that comes into your life, Gemini. All right. So you have the four of wands, eight of cups here and the Hierophant. All right. It's interesting how you have the eight, nine and 10 of cups here. I see you taking risks here, Gemini. I see you taking risks here. I see with you taking those risks, that gets you into further alignment with your path here. This is the second time that the Four of Wands is popping up for you here, Gemini. Really drilling it into you. For one, number 11, 11, 11 is definitely your number. You might be seeing that quite often because the Four of Wands is, is associated with the 11, 11. Gemini, right? That's why I see two wands on either side representing that. It represents the portal. All right. I see for you here, Gemini, the reason why you want to keep pushing, I mean, is this Eight of Cups journey. You already said to yourself at some point where it's like, you know that you deserve better. You know that you want better. And you're going to get better. But you have to go through that journey here, Gemini. All right. You have to walk away from your current situation and progressing and you already are darling like look at you you're already you're like i mean as i cover it um you are up here you're already climbing the mountain you're ha almost halfway over you're about to see the other side the storyline behind the eight of cups is someone that wants that 10 cups they don't know if they're going to get it but they don't want to settle for eight you know so you're going to be having your 10 cups this week probably not let's be realistic all right but your path overall is taking, taking you to this place of devotion. Your path overall is taking you to people, taking you to the opportunities of where you're going to have them be part of your life for a long period. And it's because of you, Gemini, of you choosing to not settle, of you choosing to go after 10 cups rather than settling for eight, all right? So I love you so much, Gemini. Some of you guys, this is just gonna be a direct sign for you to start your eight of cups journey but i feel like the majority of you guys have already started that journey on some level or on some facet in your life i love you so much give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this today gemini all right do you want to book a reading with me simply velka dot com next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of them being simply velka same as here gemini i love you so much darling and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye